So thanks everyone for joining us today. Um, um, we have Jasmine here who will be presenting um, today for Bennett and we ask that any question that you have, you put those questions in the chat box and Jasmine will be more than happy to answer your questions at the end of the presentations. But as she speaks and any question comes up, please feel free to um, put your questions in the chat box. Thanks, Jasmine. We'll be turning it over completely to you here. Awesome. Hey, everyone. My name is Jasmine Faison. Um, I am an admissions counselor and recruiter at Bennett College. Um, I also serve as the college poet laureate. So I'm like the official college poet and I get to perform at all of our on campus events. Um, and I'm also a proud graduate of Bennett College as well class of 2010. Um, so I'm just going to do um, a brief um, PowerPoint just to give you um, an overview of Bennett College, our admissions process, um, and some other components to the Bennett College experience. Um, so as um, Dwayne said, please uh, put your questions in the chat, um, and I will be taking a look at that as we go along. Um, also, if you are a student who has already applied to Bennett College and you are interested in, in next steps or if you're waiting to hear back from us, please also put that in the chat um, so that I can follow up with you directly. So now I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, so again, welcome to the Bennett College Information Session. Forgive that date, I'm sorry. We're doing a ton of these virtual events. Um, I'm just noticing that I forgot to change the date on that. I do apologize, Charge to my head, not my heart. Um, so again, my name is Jasmine Faison. I'm an admissions counselor, recruiter, poet laureate, and a proud graduate of Bennett College. Um, so history and overview. So Bennett College was founded um, in 1873 in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, we are a smaller private all women's college located right in the heart of the city. Um, and so we're small school, small student body, small class sizes. Um, but that by no means limits our students to the large opportunities. Um, that they have access to as Bennett College students. Um, we uh, originally began in 1873 as a co-ed institution, um, but we actually became an all-women's college in 1926, and we've been an all-women's college ever since. Um, we um, have a series of different majors, clubs, and organizations, and we are in close proximity to over five or six other colleges and universities here in the area. Um, now the admissions overview. So the roadmap to Bennett, um, our application process is very simple. Um, we ask that you submit an application. You can always do that on site with us at a campus or a college fair. You're also able to apply with us um, on our website, bennett.edu, and also not listed here um, as CFNC. Um, since you all are North Carolina residents, you are uh, welcome to apply to Bennett through CFNC. We ask that you submit your transcripts either via email um, to our uh, general admissions account, or you can email me directly. Um, you can email those documents to me directly. We require that you do submit your final high school transcript before you arrive on campus. And that's to make sure that you did actually complete your graduation requirements. And it's also the opportunity for us to take a look at your final overall GPA in case there are any adjustments that need to be made with financial aid. We do um, use a holistic admissions review process. Um, we do have two uh, different acceptance tiers. So our regular acceptance is for students that have at least a 2.5 GPA. Um, and then we also have an Emerging Scholars Acceptance Program. So the Emerging Scholars Program is a program designed to support students that want to attend Bennett College, but might not meet the regular um, GPA requirement. Uh, but we do still want to give those students a chance to become students at Bennett College. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll use a holistic admissions review process. We'll not only take a look at your GPA, we'll also look at test scores. You are welcome to submit um, and um, welcome to submit an essay or any other materials you think that will be helpful um, for us to know um, as we consider um, if Bennett College is an option for you. 
um, during the first year um, of your college career, during your fresh woman year, um, you will also be required to um, participate in certain tutoring programs and other academic sessions as an emerging scholar, just so that we can make sure you have everything that you need to be successful through your college career. Once you are accepted, um, we will both mail and email your acceptance letters out. Um, and then once we've made a decision, we will, again, send you that official acceptance letter. And we will also provide you with a list of, uh, of the new student checklist. Um, so a list of items for you to go through um, in order to move forward in the admissions process. One of those immediate next steps is gonna be for you to add our school code to the FAFSA and to set up a financial aid meeting. Um, that is very important because in order to be a student at Bennett College, you do uh, you are required to complete the FAFSA in order for us to give you a financial aid package. You are also required to add us to your list of schools so that we can receive your information. Um, if we don't, if our school code is not on your FAFSA form, then that means there are certain pieces of your FAFSA that we will not have access to, and it's important for us to have access to the entire form. All right, academic degree programs. So here is a list of all of our active majors and minors. Um, so our pre-med programs are gonna be your bio, your chem, um, anything relative to like criminal justice um, or anything of that sort would be filtered through our political science um, and psychology programs. English is also a program that will prepare you to go into law through the extensive writing. Um, so lots of options there. And then of course, you'll see some of the arts majors like theater and music. And then we also have a self-designed major um, uh, called BASIS. Um, and another word for that program is also um, institutional or I'm sorry, interdisciplinary studies. And so that gives you the opportunity either through the Africana Women's Studies program, the history program, or the self-design program um, to in a way, self-design your own major. So if you're a student that has a very specific interest that might not fit into one of our programs, um, you uh, have the opportunity to kind of build your own major. Um, you are required to have at least a 3.5 GPA to do that program, um, as, as, as it is a program that will require a lot of discipline. And so that is a program only for honor students. Um, also, we do partner very closely with North Carolina A&T State University. They're actually right across the street from our campus. We're literally separated by a train track. Um, and so they're one of our favorite partner schools to work with. And so if you are interested in engineering, these are your four dual degree engineering programs. So what you would do is take a portion of your courses at Bennett, the engineering courses at A&T, and then you would graduate with a degree from both institutions. All right, next steps. Um, so once you are accepted to Bennett College, once we receive your application, your transcript, your test scores, uh, we want you to share the great decision on social media. Uh, we like to celebrate our students at all stages, not just when you officially come to campus. We want to celebrate you from the very beginning. Um, so we definitely encourage you to use the hashtag via bell um, and to tag all of the Bennett College admissions pages. And then again, we want you to submit that FAFSA and make sure you're adding our school code. And then once you have gone through the financial aid process, you've met with financial aid, you've accepted your financial aid package, then we want you to go ahead and pay your $150 deposit fee. Um, this fee reserves your spot in the upcoming class and it also serves as your housing deposit as well. And then in addition, we want you to visit Bennett. Um, I know that there are not any opportunities to do that, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, uh, but we do have an online virtual tour that you are welcome to um, take a look at so you can see our campus and learn a little bit more about who we are. Um, that virtual tour is available online today. Um, what you wanna do is go to admissions, go to visit the campus, and then you'll see a link to access the virtual tour. All right, financial aid overview. Um, so who can get financial aid? Um, U.S. citizens or permanent residents, um, high school graduates, GED holders, eligible degree program or students who are seeking eligible degree programs, um, and students who do have a valid social security number. Um, there are lots of different ways to stream financial aid opportunities. Um, you can apply for grants, loans. You can also be eligible for work study based on the findings of your FAFSA. 
can earn and apply for scholarships. And then there's also certain state aid that you're able to receive um, as residents of North Carolina. And how do you apply for financial aid? So federal student aid, um, there are some different um, ways that you can access that information. Um, you can go, uh, you can register um, through FAFSA. Um, and then of course you're completing that form. Um, you can also apply for state aid. Um, North Carolina does um, offer a certain state aid for students that are attending colleges um, in the state of North Carolina. Um, institutional aid, you can always um, reach out to us and learn more about your eligibility. And then here are some other scholarship um, scholarship opportunities that you can take advantage of, seeing what's uh, happening at FastWeb, CapEx, and also UNCF. We are a UNCF school. UNCF stands for United Negro College Fund, and that's an organization that provides lots of scholarship opportunities that students uh, for students who want to attend HBCUs. Um, so I definitely encourage you all to go to uncf.org, create a student profile, and apply for any um, opportunities that you may be eligible for. Um, now, institutional scholarships. We do offer a series of institutional scholarships starting at a 2.7 GPA. So if you have at least a 2.7, you are eligible for $5,000 towards your tuition per year. That's between a 2.7 and a 3.0. If you have between a 3.0 and a 3.59, you're eligible for $10,000 in scholarships per year. If you have a 3.6 to a 3.99, you are eligible for $14,874 per year. And then if you have a 4.0, you do qualify for a full ride scholarship. Um, that not only includes your full tuition and fees, but that also includes your full room and board. All of these scholarships are automatically awarded solely based on your grade point average. There is no separate application process. All you would need to do is, uh, again, add us to FAFSA, set up a financial aid meeting. Um, the financial aid counselor will let you know exactly what scholarship you el you're eligible for based on the GPA that we have for you on file, and then your package will proceed um, after that. And then where can you get more financial aid? So financial aid and scholarships and, and other funding opportunities can be found in a lot of different places. Um, so again, making sure that you are visiting CASWeb, CapEx, UNCF, also studentaid.gov, and then you can also find out more information um, by calling 1-800-4-FEDERAL-AID. Clubs and organizations. So we have a lot of fun at Vita College. Um, although we are a women's college, that actually like makes it more fun. Um, so we have a series of on-campus clubs and organizations. We have a lot of on-campus events. Um, we are a more traditional HBCU, so we do celebrate um, a lot of, or, or we host a lot of ceremonies that are reflective of our history, like Founders Day, the day the college was founded, Charter Day, which is the day we were recognized by the state of North Carolina as a four-year college and university. We also have Friends and Family Weekend, which takes place in September. That's when we invite all our family and friends back to the campus um, just to visit and have a weekend full of fun. And then during that same weekend, we also um, celebrate the coronation of Miss Bennett College um, and all of the campus queens. And we also have our own homecoming, which uh, takes place in the spring because we don't have a football team for homecoming to be attached to in the fall. It makes sense for the ladies to do their own thing in April. Um, and so that week is called Ebony Soul. And it's a series of homecoming related events um, that just brings our campus together and allows our students to have fun. Um, so we do, we'll do step shows, fashion shows, um, you know, faculty student basketball game, a party, a ball, um, you name it. So really, really awesome opportunities for you to not only engage um, with your campus community, uh, but for you to invite your friends and other folks to the campus um, to enjoy in our good times as well. Um, and then again, here's a list of all of our clubs and organizations. And we do have three active sororities on campus as well. All right, so the Greater Greensboro Consortium Program, we are a part of this program. Um, this is a program that is designed to uh, give college students in the city of Greensboro 
access to the other colleges and universities around us, um, just so that you can have another layer of um, academic support, gives you the opportunity to really um, learn more about um, you know, the academic culture at some of the other schools, give you the opportunity to meet other people from different areas and to engage in different academic learning experiences. Um, all of the schools um, that are a part of the program are listed here. So that's Bennett College, North Carolina a and uh, UNCG, Greensboro College, Guilford College, Pike University, Elon University, and Guilford Tech. Um, so what you can do is you actually have the option to kind of bounce around and take classes at any of the partner schools. Um, you are required to maintain at least a 2.0 at your home institution. Um, you are not able to take more classes at another school than you are taking at your home school. Um, but again, you are able to jump around and take classes at some of those partner schools. All right, so that's um, just a small kind of ov the overall gist uh, of Bennett College. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. And let's hop over to the chat. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take uh, Dwayne's question first about being the Poet Laureate. Um, thank you so much. Um, I um, am, I've always been a poet um, since I was a little girl. Um, when I was a student at Bennett, poetry is something that I really dove deep into. Um, and I had the opportunity to perform a lot um, here on campus and for a lot of our um, special guests, including Oprah, one of my favorite poets, Nikki Giovanni, um, Danny Glover, Jesse Jackson, among lots of other um, folks. Um, it definitely um, informs um, my work and admissions um, because I, I'm, I'm just one of those people, I think like everything is art. Um, no matter what it is, in some kind of way, there, there's some link to, to, um, to you know, artistic pursuits in, in any way possible. Um, I think working in admissions um, definitely um, helps to bring out my poet skills because I do a lot of talking um, just about Bennett. I, I talk to like students and answer their questions. Um, so I think the, 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 the verbal component of poetry um, comes out the most in my role as an admissions counselor. Um, an example of a major that an honor student um, created uh, for herself. Um, so I have a class, I had a classmate who was an interdisciplinary studies major. Um, she was interested in, so her background, she had a strong background in like cheerleading and other athletic programs. Um, and so, and, and now she is like top national um, cheerleading judge. So she judges uh, cheerleading competitions at some of the top national competitions. Um, and so what she did was she created that kind of program for herself through the interdisciplinary studies program. So what she did was she pulled, um, you know, some courses from like bio and chem, like some of those health courses that inform you on, um, you know, physical fitness, calisthenics, things of that nature. Um, she took some business, combined some business courses um, to just to just to give her uh, that perspective on how the competitions work and how they're run. Because essentially, you know, they're competitions, but it's it's essentially a business. Um, and then she also um, just combined a series of different courses. Um, to kind of create that path for herself. Um, so her major was interdisciplinary studies uh, with a concentration in physical fitness uh, as it relates to cheerleading. Um, and so that was something that was really interesting. Uh, we've also had other students. Um, I have a classmate who um, wanted to go into um, like art therapy. Um, and so she was an IS major. And what she did was she took some theater courses. She took some art courses. She took some psychology courses. She took some social work courses, combined all of those together um, to give her a degree in um, art and speech therapy. Um, so those are a few examples. Um, DACA undocumented and international students are eligible um, to attend Bennett College. Uh, we do have a specific scholarship that we give away every year um, to a DACA student. And then we also have a process uh, for international students 
um, to apply as well through the Office of Global Studies. Uh, so by no means, um, if you are a DACA student or an international student, undocumented student, by no means are you shut out of Bennett College. We would love to have you here as well. Um, are the scholarships based on weighted or unweighted? So they are based on the weighted GPA. Um, we give our students the flexibility and the benefit of the doubt um, to be able to pull that from the weighted um, GPA because we understand um, that there are different courses and things that you're taking um, that kind of influence that weighted versus unweighted. And so we will honor the highest GPA that you have on your transcript. You're very welcome. Um, what do most Bennett students do after graduation? Um, so it depends. Um, we have a lot of students who will jump right into the workforce and just go right for it. Um, but we also have a lot of students who jump right into uh, graduate level programs. We are actually in the top 10 of all HBCUs to not only get our students to and through Bennett, but to also support them to get to and through graduate uh, master's and PhD level programs. Um, so a, I would say about 60% of our graduates will go straight into a master's program with the other 40% going straight into the workforce and pursuing a master's or a PhD at a later time. Um, apart from enrollment or graduation diploma, what is unique to a Bennett student? Um, I would say what is unique to a Bennett student is that a Bennett Bell is always um, the most prepared student in the room. Uh, we not only, you know, give our students the opportunity to expand their, um, you know, academic learning, to expand their professionalism, but we ensure that our students have everything that they need, you know, socially, mentally, physically, spiritually. So Bennett College is more of a holistic um, college experience. So again, not just making sure you have what you need inside of the classroom, not just making sure that you're getting that job um, that you wanted to get, but making sure that you have a solid understanding of who you are, what you have to offer, what your strengths are, and truly understanding your power. Um, and so Bennett women are always the most prepared in the room. Uh, Bennett women are always um, the most professional in a situation. Um, so we really do all that we can, again, to, um, to encourage and to, um, to encourage and to motivate the holistic student um, outside of your academics. Um, Bennett students participate in study abroad programs. Yes, absolutely. Um, I actually have a feature right now on our website. So if you go to bennett.edu, scroll down, um, you'll see where I answer um, some questions about my study abroad experience. Um, so we have an excellent center for global studies on campus. Um, the organized center began in 2009. Um, and I was actually one of the students to be able to study abroad through the formally organized program. Um, so I did a semester abroad in London through a partnership that we had with NYU, um, and it was an awesome experience. I encourage all of my students to travel and study abroad, no matter what school you go to, um, because it's a super valuable experience that not only exposes you um, to a different way of living, different cultures, different social norms, but it also supports you to become more culturally responsive and to be able to understand uh, people and things from other cultures, customs from other cultures in a more enlightened way. Um, we have sent over, we have sent our students to over 54 um, different countries all across the world, every continent except Antarctica. We haven't gotten there yet. Um, so our students have a plethora of opportunities to be able to travel and study abroad. Um, the great thing about the program is that we partner um, with schools and different programs that offer financial, financial incentives uh, because we want to make sure that these experiences are not costing our students and families lots of extra money out of pocket. So for example, when I did the study abroad program through NYU, I was only responsible for paying what I would have normally paid to Bennett for that semester versus paying what NYU students were paying for the same program. And that was about a $25,000 difference. Um, so huge savings there. Um, we also partner with different financial institutions um, to support our students through scholarships and other opportunities that can pay for study abroad. 
And then we also have a passport scholarship program. So for any student that does not come to us with a passport, you are able to apply for one here at Bennett and we will pay for the entire process um, in order for you to get that. So no cost to you as a student, all you have to do is apply. All right, how will we describe the campus culture and do you have any sororities on campus? Yes, um, I will describe our campus culture as like a family setting. Um, we, because we are a smaller kind of close-knit college network, everybody knows everybody and everybody's really supportive of one another. Um, so for example, you have your professors who, you know, know you and will call you out. So if you haven't been to class in three days, you randomly see your professor in the cafeteria, your professor's going to ask, what's going on? Where are, where have you been? How are you? What can I do to help you? Um, because we're an all women's college, sisterhood is definitely a huge on our campus um, and so you know we're not only supporting each other again academically and professionally but also supporting each other mentally spiritually physically challenging each other to to work out together challenging each other to worship together challenging each other to seek out any uh, mental health services that we need really providing just a close-knit family oriented place where we're all holding each other accountable um, so I would say that we have an awesome kind of family oriented sisterhood based uh, campus culture. We do have sororities on campus, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, which I had the privilege of uh, becoming a member of while I was a student here at Bennett, and also Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated as well. Um, first and second year retention rate. Um, those retention rates are somewhere in about the 60th percentile. Um, so about 60% um, of our students who will um, start at Bennett um, will stay and remain through the first uh, two years. Um, I think one of the challenges with that is that because we're a smaller school, everyone's not ready for a smaller college environment. So I would definitely suggest that if you are thinking about Bennett, um, definitely keep that in mind. Um, some students are just looking for a much larger college experience, and we totally understand that. Uh, but I think that's kind of where a little bit of that turnover comes. Now, one thing I will say is that coming to Bennett means that you get the best of both worlds. And so if you are looking for that larger college experience, that is still something that you can get at Bennett. Because we're right across the street from A&T, UNCG, some of the other schools, because you're able to participate in the consortium program, that does give you, again, best of both worlds. You have Bennett, which is smaller, private, all women's, you know, your comfort zone, the place where you can let your hair down and just be your authentic self. Well, we encourage you to be your authentic self at all times, but, you know, Bennett is like your, your comfort zone, like home away from home but then you still have access to all of those other colleges and universities to be able to give you a larger college experience. Uh, because we're right across the street from a and we do participate in their homecoming activities, which is always a really fun time. Um, so again, you're kind of getting that double-sided experience. Um, yes, we do admit um, transfer students. Um, they do have a different application um, online, so you are required to complete a transfer student application. Um, transfer students are required to have at least a 2.5 GPA, um, but in special circumstances, we will um, allow transfer students to join the Emerging Scholars Program. Um, let's see here. Yes, on-campus housing is available for all four years. We actually require that our students live on campus for their first two years. Years. Um, we understand that students, you know, want to get to apartments and want to do their own thing, but there is no rush to be like paying bills and doing all that. Enjoy your youth while you can. Um, and so again, we require that our students live on campus for the first two years. And beyond that, if you want to live on campus all four years, you are absolutely welcome to do that. Um, challenges, opportunities and challenges, if any, attending um, a women's college. Um, I don't think that there are any challenges. I think there's always opportunities. Um, I think the opportunity um, is really for the student to have the space, time, and support that they need to really focus on themselves. 
uh, because we're women's college, essentially everything that we do is geared towards the empowerment, the encouragement, and the elevation of young women. Um, so you'll have, you know, endless opportunities to really just understand more about who you are, who you are, what your passion is, what your purpose is, what your gifts are, and how you want to use those things to create change um, and to be as effective as you possibly can out in the world and in the workforce. Um, so I, I would say the main opportunity of, of attending a women's college is really having that strong sense of self, being able to graduate um, and, and go out into the world as confident um, and as prepared as you possibly can be. Um, and what does the ideal applicant for Bennett admissions look like? Um, I don't think we have an ideal applicant. I think um, one of the things that Bennett is really proud of is that we celebrate all different types of students. So of course we have students who have done very well in high school, who have achieved at a high level, um, who are very well rounded and who you know, would be a perfect fit um, for the college experience. But then we also have students who may have had a hard time in high school. They may have had some personal or family challenges that they had to overcome, health challenges that they had to overcome. And um, you know, we understand that you know, those students may need a second chance everybody deserves a second chance. That's what we believe at Bennett College. And so we're a school that not only takes pride in our high achieving students, but we also take pride in our students that need a second chance in order to get to that higher achieving level. Um, and so regardless of how you come to us at Bennett, whether you're starting off high and, um, or whether you're starting off low, we give all of our students the same opportunity to get to the highest of heights. Um, and would you make Bennett a great choice for a young lady from Durham? Absolutely. I mean, you're still in your home state, so you don't have to go too far. Um, you're far away. You're, you're, you're far enough away for you to be independent and do your own thing um, and show mom, dad, grandma, family that you are able to take advantage um, of your education and of your life, but still close enough for you to be able to have those family ties um, and to be able to, to reconnect uh, with, with things that are familiar to you. Uh, we have an excellent alumni chapter um, in the Raleigh-Durham area. Um, so a group of Bennett College alums who are from that area or who live in that area, who are always willing to support current students. Um, and so once you are an accepted student at Bennett and you um, confirm that you want to attend Bennett College, we do connect you with that alumni chapter. Um, and they provide so many resources for you. They will host send-offs over the summer before you go to college. They'll send you care packages while you're here. They'll come down and visit you on the weekends or during friends and family weekend. Um, and we have over 39 different alumni chapters all across the country. Um, and again, that's another layer of support outside of everyone on campus um, just to help you um, get through your college experience. Um, being a Bennett Bell is so priceless. Uh, we have a saying that once a Bennett Bell, always a Bennett Bell. Um, and so we take pride um, in being Bennett Bells. We take pride in fostering Bennett Bells. Um, and then, uh, you know, we take pride in just taking care of each other so that we can continue to create new waves of Bennett Bells to come. Um, and so Bennett would absolutely be a great choice um, for a young lady from Durham. Um, and we would love to have you. Okay, thank you so very much, Jasmine. Is there any other question from any of the participants in um, the session, please? Um, while students um, consider or write their questions, um, I want to use this opportunity, Jasmine, to say thank you so very much for taking time out of your schedule um, no to support our program in supporting students in the area. Uh, we hope that we can continue our partnership with you. Yes. Um, and I hope that you are okay too with students reaching out to you should they have any questions or concerns. Mm -hmm. um, if so, would you please just put your contact information in the chat box. Absolutely. Um, so ladies, here is my um, email address, my phone number. Please feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call. Again, if you have already applied to Bennett College and you are waiting to hear from us, please reach out to me today um, so that I can follow up with you and, and help get you moving forward on some next steps. And we will certainly keep in touch with you, Jasmine, um, as awesome. we continue our business of enrolling as many of the Triangle students into college, um, especially Durham Public School students. 
Um, we also want to use this um, opportunity to encourage our participants to um, complete our survey. We have a survey um, for every session, and that is to support us in improving our programs as best as we can in accommodating students. Um, in the meanwhile, thanks again, Jasmine, for taking time out um, of your schedule, and thanks to all our participants today. Awesome. Thanks so much, Dwayne and Jackie. Thanks for setting this up. This is awesome. I know everybody's going through it with COVID-19 and everything changing. Um, so I wish um, safety and health for all of you and all of your families. And if you're interested in Bennett College, we look forward to having you. Thanks again, Jasmine, and best wishes to you as well. Thank you.